Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Lost Lures, and this episode is going to be very straightforward, very simple, very quick. All I am doing in this episode is just stating my plan for this winter break. I don't want to get cold over winter break. Bad pun, I'm sorry. It wasn't intended. I, I, I really mean that. It wasn't intended. But I don't want to get cold as far as the law and my work effort goes. And so what I need to do is develop a plan in order to stay focused. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I want to work some more on the pre-law content. I haven't done that since law school started, and so I'm going to take the opportunity over the Christmas break to practice writing, uh, to practice uh, presenting material effectively and efficiently, and I'm going to do so with the pre-law material. Uh, second of all, I need to start preparing for next semester, so I need to make sure my financials are in order uh, with scholarships, uh, with uh, student loans, whatever else it might be, in order to make sure that I am all set and prepared uh, for financial purposes for next semester, so I don't need to worry about that. And third of all, with that, is make sure I have all my textbooks that are necessary for uh, law school next semester. But my biggest priority over this winter break is to prepare for uh, summer jobs next year. Uh, we're about to start uh, on-campus interviews that will happen the first uh, couple weeks of January. And so I need to have my resume uh, done. I need to have jobs picked out uh, as far as what companies I want to apply for. And I need to draft cover letters for all of those positions. And so a lot of my time spent this week is going to focus on specifically getting all the career-related stuff all picked together so that I can submit good applications before on-campus interviews and the deadline for the on-campus interviews of CIs. I believe that's really all my plan is. I think that should keep me warm enough. Uh, if not... My backup plan and to keep me focused is to read, uh, either to uh, read textbooks from this past semester, uh, like Iowa Legal Research. Probably won't do that so much. I might do it a bit just because I want to be more familiar with legal research because that's a really important tool. If not, I'll probably choose a book to read just for, I wouldn't say necessarily a hobby, but maybe for relaxation purposes, also a bit of learning. Uh, a while ago, I was reading the Federalist Papers, and I didn't quite finish, and so I might go ahead and finish that. Uh, but ultimately, I want to stay focused. I want to stay um, hot, but I also want to recover uh, because doing both those things is going to be necessary for me to have continued success next semester. Uh, one last thing before I finish this off, I'm pleased to announce that everything is updated. All the episodes are on the website. All the website outlines are all updated. Uh, the material is all updated. And really just to report on how I did so far this past semester, I don't have grades out yet. I do have grades for contracts, but I'm not going to share my grades. We'll see. Uh, pretty much to report how things went last semester and how the impact that it had. I believe I read every single case except for probably the last couple of uh, criminal law. I developed briefs for all those cases that I read and even those ones that I didn't read. Maybe not the best briefs, but they are there and they are good notes. I developed outlines that I believe were effective in preparing for finals. It definitely helped me prepare for finals. And ultimately, it was a good study resource, and especially the podcast, I'll be honest. I don't like listening to my voice, but I did listen to the podcast episodes, and I think that was a huge impact on my ability to recall information and to repeatedly go over this information, and specifically in the audio uh, format, as I'm following along with what I learned. So that's law school. Uh, and that's an update on how everything is going, a plan, 
uh, for how I can am going to continue to strive to have success. Uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you all for your support. Uh, it's been fun, and I look forward to talking again in the next little bit. I don't know how soon that'll be, uh, but you can for sure expect stuff to come out over the break. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Law Schoolers. Before I let you go, there are four things I want to say. The first thing is if you enjoyed these episodes and if you enjoyed the website, I would invite you to go and join Law Schoolers Pro. And you can do that by going to lawschoolers.com slash join. It's a way for you to support us, but there's also a lot of features there that I think you will enjoy. Second thing is that nearly all of our episodes are unedited. The only ones that aren't are pre-law materials. And the reason for that is so you can actually see the legal material in its raw form as I'm learning it as well. The third thing is that the information contained in these episodes are specifically only for educational purposes. They're not to be used as legal advice. And with that, the fourth thing is if it is used as legal advice, we are not liable. That is, law schoolers is not liable for any legal outcomes. Thank you again for enjoying the show. Have a good one.